No, it wasn't. Ha. Huh. Damn. I thought I was being so clever, having a like an outdoors shortcut straight into the dungeon, but that wasn't where we were at all. Whoa, four viewers. I might become a, a, a Twitch affiliate after all. Now everyone just stay watching for the next 10 hours. Let's say maybe maybe that will like tick the meter over on having like an average of three. Nobody move. <laughs> the next one hour. Yeah, I think there's some kind of like average uh, length of time, but because I stream for so long, like the average length of time. It like takes my score down when I'm streaming for like 10 hours and only I'm watching from my own phone to monitor the chat. So I, I'm not sure if I can just do it for one hour and, and get back on form. Oh, we still have a potion running. That's neat. Sounds like this is going to go off. Yeah. Well, you, you can move, just like, uh, just don't, don't turn off the stream. M move, movement allowed. Okay, I'll take, I'll take that back. <laughs> I mean, I might not move for the next 10 hours. All oh, right, yeah, of course. You told me earlier that the the game's coming down for maintenance. Down it. That would be just my luck. I've got people actually watching live, and then the game's coming down. Oh, you know what that means. I'll have to, like, say that really annoying thing that, that all the YouTubers and the, the Twitch people say. Hey, make sure you follow my stream so you can you can come back later and find it again. I feel like... I feel like saying that eats away at my soul. I'm not the kind of person to sit there and, like, beg people to, to come back. That's... It's awful, that kind of advertising, self-promotion. It's not me. Like, if people want to come and watch your stuff, they'll just click, subscribe, like, follow, whatever, by themselves. You don't need to badger people into it. It's awful. Yeah, you know, and of course it's just like it's a given. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna see the the same person again, well, that's the way you do it. Really love in werewolf when you get the um, the werewolf board, and you put in this point that gives you um, each time you crit with a werewolf ability, any werewolf ability, you gain two spirit, and that two spirit it just makes everything so so much better for your economy of spirit. You have to left click so much less when you just crit and you get two refunded back. 
I think if you do a, an AoE crit, you get two off of every single monster that you hit with a crit. So it, it's just, it's great. You've got an AoE pack, you're, you're kind of floating in spirit all the time. I think I could make my spirit economy a little bit better with some changes, but I don't want to sit here and do changes. It's kind of boring. I'll, uh, I'll like fix it off the stream like I did the last couple of times. Yeah. That, um... That, that style of thing, like I said, isn't really for me, where you badger people. But you know, maybe I'm doing YouTube wrong. Three people unsubscribed to me recently. And that looks really bad on my analytics page. They're all like, uh, yeah, people are, people are trying to leave and get away from you. Do, do better. Bring us more YouTube money in. And I feel a little bit sad for poor old YouTube. I'm, I'm sure they're going to go bankrupt without me bringing them advertising cash. I gotta do better for YouTube. Loads of free maps. Hopefully, one of them was uh, something with more cannibals and whatnot on them. Steve hasn't been up that way. I kind of like this one. I win this one sometimes, so it's much more enjoyable. Get back from them. Let it end. There's one. There's two. Got the mastery done, yeah. Yeah, I think um, you get a little companion guy in Diablo 3 that would like loot stuff for you. I think you needed to get like the squire or a little cow or, or something or other. Hey, this guy didn't turn into a boss even though we met the mastery requirement. That's weird. Normally he turns into a ghost boss. Maybe I did something wrong. Uh, let's drink a couple of these weak ones and pick up this neat one. Yeah, I'm almost certain you could get little auto loot pets in Diablo 3.
I remember during the initial launch of Diablo 3, a lot of the stats were quite different on, on items than what the later patches gave, and you had that extra um, gold pickup radius on your on your character and all kinds of other things like health blow pickup radius, and it was very, very weird. You were spending actual stats on your gear, not to become more powerful, but literally to be slightly more convenient when picking up gold from a distance. And it was bizarre, and I'm glad they got rid of it. Well, that and the uh, cash paid auction house where real money was used to buy items off of other players, which was bizarre. Blizzard made a load of money. I think they kept like. 50% or 70% of the profits from every sale and people were selling billions of things per day to each other. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just trying to, you know, cut all the gold sellers on eBay right out. Hey! That Paragon point. Let's get um, even less crowd control duration. If I can get that down to being stunned for like 0 0.02 of a second, or frozen for 0 0.02 of a second, I'll be happy with that. I can live through that in a lot of cases. It's like, um... What I'm thinking is, if, if we had a proper gem bag that all gems went into, it would be it'd be fine to turn gems into something that you just picked up as you walked over them, like gold. But at the moment, of course, because we don't have a separate gem storage, they have to be an item on the floor that you have to go out your way to click on to pick up. And it's just kind of like loot inconvenience, just for the sake of loot inconvenience. If they if they don't give us a bag for it, we can't really you know, have it on a nice system like gold pickup. Oh man, I would love a bigger aspect bag. Or maybe even just like a aspect um, tab on the bank. That'd be sweet. Because, you know, as long as you've got a, a, an aspect print somewhere, you, you can come across an idea later that you just think about, and then you can just build the build, you know, sh shove it on some yellow items, and off you go. But, if they don't give us the space to keep that, you have to, like, find your aspect after you think of the build, which you can't keep a reserve of them, and it's just it's inconvenient again. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of make all of my bank aspects and then just, you know, the yellows to put them on should I have an idea so that I have both half of the equation and as soon as I think of something I can go out and I can play it immediately. All of that for a drop of Greed Shrine. Whoa. That was almost death.
Yeah, I think I was saying the other day that I would like to see them do um, one of the following. Either give us eight tabs and all of the tabs that we have plus the new tabs are double the size. Or if they want to keep it exactly the same but name this tab the shared tab and then give our characters also their own personal box that has either the same amount of tabs or double the tabs. You know, either way, that would be fine. I just, I can't get over the fact that this is my one character that I've got, and if I want to play other characters, I have to try and make that same amount of storage space work, shared, between them. I can't do that. It, it's not happening, there's no way. I would have to sell up everything. All of my other options would have to would have to go in the bin. That's so stupid. I mean, I don't even know if guilds have storage. So like, I, uh, I don't know. I've, I've joined so many guilds over the years, and then if you, like, stop for two seconds, or... Even if you don't, you end up with no guild, because if you stop for a little while with some guilds, they kick you out. That's that's annoying. And other guilds, even if they don't, they have some drama over something absolutely pathetically stupid that you, you wouldn't even think is worth arguing about. And then they just implode, and then they're gone, and then you end up with no guild when you go and look again. It's just... Oh, man. People. The way that people can't get along with each other just drives me, drives me nuts. Oh, hey guys, we're all playing the same game together, we're on the same team, and let's all just uh, work together and get something done is not something that seems to be a common, you know, a common goal amongst most people. Other people? Competition is, like, how people see it. Oh, 100%, that's actually quite good. Um, I'll not extract that because I do have another copy of 100% I think somewhere and I just want to save the space I was supposed to swap back out that butcher's cleaver like a, a, a dungeon ago or more and I forgot so bravo me And it was this fella I was using instead. My core skills deal up to 40% increased damage based on my fortify, which is huge. Very big deal. Like, I would love to be able to fit that butcher's um, effect in, but just no, not right now. The other one I'd really like to do is, um, I actually think the, the lucky hit 22% chance to freeze enemies would be pretty rad on the werewolf. Um, not for any particular reason, just... Uh, you know, crowd control the other guy. Uh, we need space here. Lots of space. Um, let's start with just destroying everything with, like, resource destroyer on it. Resource burn, I think is what it's called, yep. Goodbye, resource burn. Okay, that didn't clear very much. What about armor breaker? Don't really like that. Potion Breaker's off as well. That'll do. That's some space. Let's just hit up something um, level 31-ish. 